Chef Chacha Dave, uh, tonight I'm going to be making, and here's that hand again, see that hand? Look at that hand. Somebody wrote on one of my, uh, on the comments that I kept hitting him in the face with my left hand. Uh, but at any rate, uh, tonight I'm going to make a Delmonico steak with a baked potato, uh, a salad, bread, and bread pudding for dessert. Now, in the restaurant in 1967, uh, this was one of our featured dishes. Uh, and it was a steakhouse and I will explain some of the things to you uh, just to set this whole thing off uh, that was a long time ago 40 something years ago in the 60s alright between 1960 and 2005 $100 is now in 2005 of course we passed that is worth $679.09 a new house in the 60s was $12,000, and toward the end of the 60s it was $15,000. Average income, $5,300 for a year. And it went up to $85.40 by the end of the 60s. That's, that's not so bad. Gas in the 60s, 25 cents a gallon. All right, now, um, you know, it's about what we're paying now, right? Okay, new cars were $2,600 to $3,200 when it got to the end of the 60s. A Volkswagen went to $1,700 and a Mustang, which I do have one, is $2,300. It's a frightening world. At any rate, so this Delmonico steak uh, was served with the baked potato and I'm going to throw that on the grill now. It's nothing more than a, a, a New York strip steak, okay? All right, I'm gonna throw that on. We may have a little fire, and uh, I'll call the fire department. And uh, while that's cooking, one of the things that was served in the restaurant was a Manhattan. People always had Manhattans before they had dinner. So um, I'm going to make a Manhattan for you, okay? Now, so the Manhattan was, Put in a shaped glass. Okay, and it's made with whiskey, a little bit of whiskey in here, like a jigger size. Okay, and then there's some bitters and some vermouth. And we cover that. Make a bit of shake. Okay, now we have that. This has gotten the glass nice and cold for the Manhattan. We get rid of that ice. Okay, and we pour our Manhattan in here. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of lemon, put it around the edge, put that right in there, and Put a little cherry in there. We're gonna throw a little bit of that cherry juice. And then we have our Manhattan. And this is a short Manhattan. Now well, let's see. Not bad. I've had better. I don't know what that's floating in there. Well, I don't know. Does it have wings? By the way, Amar, why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken Cross the road to Don't. get to the other side. No, that's wrong. There was a sale at Walmart. Okay, now, so that was one of the things we had. Now we have our steak, and that's ready. It looks good. Now, this is a 12 ounce Delmonico. Okay, now. Uh, the baked potato, 
they used to cook the baked potatoes in the restaurant and it went in a steam drawer in silver foil. Terrible idea. And then they would cut the silver foil and serve it on the plate like this. I don't like that. I just put the silver foil on it to show you that. But that was a very, very bad idea because it steams. So you don't want it to be steamed. So I actually baked this in the oven. Okay. And then we're going to cut this potato. And we're going to put some sour cream on this potato. Now, the waitress would come and say, would you like french fries or a baked potato? And a lot of people would say, oh, I would like to have a baked potato, please, with sour cream. They usually put chives. I'm putting a little parsley. And that's all you got on the plate. Now, you also received a little bowl of bread. Nice bread. Wasn't toasted. They gave you butter with it. And uh, Tom Jones actually ate at this restaurant a lot. She's a winner. All right, now, so on the salad, I have to get the salad out. You got this salad and no croutons. And you could have blue cheese, Roquefort. You could have uh, Russian or French. Blue cheese was crumpled blue cheese like this on top. Roquefort was creamy, but this was just, we used to put that on top of that. And then you get a little bit of their house dressing, right? Oil and vinegar, a little sugar, a little basil on top of that. Okay. Now, so you have your bread, you have your salad, okay? You have your silver foil. Terrible idea. They didn't want to bake the potatoes any other way. Now, for dessert, you have bread pudding, you had jello, you had a lot of different things. Uh, and this steak sauce. And you got a cup of coffee also for dessert. So you have all of this. Is this unbelievable? A little steak, a little potato, bread, bread pudding. This has raisins in it. That bread pudding we made was actually quite delicious. This was extra. Now, if you wanted something fancy from the pastry cart, you had to pay a la carte. Come on! Now, let me explain. This is how much all of this was in 1967. Frightening, huh? Now this is like $29.95 in a restaurant. Maybe you get a 16 ounce steak. Amor, why did the chicken cross the road? Get to the other side. You know, see, some people learn. Some people don't learn. I told you why the chicken went to the other side. Okay. So, is that incredible? Now, things have changed, haven't they? But this is delicious. This was a great meal, and for that price, I would like the steak a little thicker, a little bigger, but this is a 12 ounce steak. It's really a, a New York strip with a bone, but you can also have, you know, they, they called it the Delmonico steak. At any rate, this, this world is going on. It's crazy. It's crazy. I would pay $2.95 for this. Okay. See you in 1967. Bye.